what's going on everybody what's up rain what's up mavis what's up aster what's up timbo and what is up nelson how is everyone doing and welcome back to corn's quest this amazing charity stream that we're doing for the world wildlife fund <laughs> we have raised 235 dollars and one cent so far uh, trying to hit our goal of $1,000 before April 22nd. What's up, Timbo? How is everyone doing? What's up? Shout out to the member questers as well for their additional support and their continued support. Y'all got some awesome badges going on over there. Y'all got access to all the emotes. I really appreciate y'all's support. It's been a blast so far. How's everyone doing? What is up? Who's up? Uh, yeah, all those emotes. All those emotes. Sunny D is still alive. Sunny D is still thriving. This is our current team. And they're not doing terribly. They're not, they're really not doing that bad. Like, you know, it's one of those things of they could be doing much, much worse. And we've definitely lost a lot of Pokemon along the way. But Honestly, the last stream we did, which was on Saturday, we went undefeated against the boss Pokemon. Every boss fight we did, we didn't lose a single Pokemon, and literally, we didn't even, like, we only lost, like, I think one or two, technically. Like, we didn't even lose that many. This is still pretty much the original team. Yes, remember to like the stream. I appreciate that, Nelson. Thank you so much for the reminder to like the stream. R.I.P. the Fallen Pokemon, 100%. We've lost so many good ones, but, I mean, we're going... Chonkula is... I mean, from Saturday, Chonkula is definitely the MVP so far. Chonkula is doing fantastic right now. Just because it is... Like... It's such a, str it's such a strong Pokemon. It's, like, really, really pulling its weight, and... It's surprisingly strong type of thing. It's very odd. It's very odd. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, Rain. Yeah, hopefully that we don't... Maybe now that, yeah, I'm a partner, I'm not going to lose any of the likes. I know, yeah, it got weird. Um, I tried doing the thing of... Uh, back when I was starting out of, like, everyone go like the stream. If we get to, like, 200 or, like, if we get to, like, 20 or 50 likes or whatever, I'll do something or whatever and... We did, but then it, like, YouTube was like, oh, you must be bots. And when everyone went to go look at it after, they are like, where did it all go? And it's like, YouTube, man, YouTube must have thought we were bots. <laughs> Howard is definitely going to save this run. I like I th So I think, honestly, Onion has really high potential. Finn has really, really high potential. Howard also has really high potential. Chonkula and Sunny D, I'm gonna say, are like very. Yo, what up, Logan? Welcome. Oh, you just. Are you Incineroar? Are you Incineroar plays? Welcome back, homie. Welcome back. Um, but yeah, I feel like Chonkula and Sunny D are gonna be those hidden gems. I feel like they might actually make it really far and they might actually pull their own weight pretty well. But it's gonna be one of those things of like total underdogs. Like, we're not expecting them to do well but they're probably gonna surprise us. Let's do a quick recap of what we got going on so far on our team. So we got Onion with Effect Spore, which is super nice. He's got some pretty good moves here. Um, he's gonna get fast, he's gonna get fast. Uh, and then we got Finn over here with Flame Body, which is nice because, I mean, that just obviously, it's higher chance to burn the opponent. That's fantastic. With pretty good moves, it's attack. Oh, we could not have asked for a better uh, Pokemon, because this Pokemon is gonna be an awesome attacker. Unfortunately, its speed is gonna suffer, but at the same time, it's already really, really fast, and it has Flame Charge to up its speed, so I feel like the attack growing the fastest is gonna be the most advantageous for this Pokemon. And then we got Chonkula with Gluttony, which is really cool, so like, um, like, It'll make a Pokemon eat its berry sooner, which, you know, is kind of cool. It's got some pretty good moves. Like, it's a normal type, so Stab comes in handy. And then Howard with, like, our Psychic moves, our Water moves, Cloud 9, eliminating the status of, like, weather effects. That's pretty cool. And then Sunny D 
another grass type. It's not bad. Its special attack is the fastest growing one, so like that will probably be beneficial once it learns maybe a little bit better moves, but at the same time, I'm a little nervous for it just as far as taking hits, especially with solar power. So like in harsh sunlight, it's going to raise its special attack, which is going to be nice, but then it's going to decrease HP every turn. So that's a bit of a bummer. You've been playing too much fire red. There's no such thing as too much fire red. Let me tell you, fire red is a fantastic game that I really, really enjoy. I'm hoping Sunny D does well. I have high hopes for it, but truthfully, who knows? Okay. Okay, y'all. Okay. So, first things first. If you have not shared the stream or the link to donate with some friends, please, please, please share that donation link. Um, this is what we're doing it all for, y'all. We are doing it for the World Wildlife Fund is what this stream is all about. We are trying to raise that money. We're already doing fantastic. A lot of you have already donated, which is amazing. So now the only thing left to do is convince other people to donate. I've been sharing the links, I've been sharing the streams, and I hope y'all do the same. I would really, really appreciate it. I Chonkula, Chonkula on Saturday was definitely the main character. Chonkula was 100% the main character. And now the real question, do we go fight Iono? Is that who's next? Is... <laughs> <laughs> is it Iono or do we go fight uh the uh, Mela? Do we fight Mela, Iono, or we don't we definitely don't go here, right? We don't go to the Titan Pokemon. But like which <laughs> Iono is next? Alright, cool, I'm down for that. Which we got a lot of good stuff. Okay, so Iono, you think it's Iono and then Mel, that, I mean, that works, like, Iono's probably our best bet anyway, just simply because of what we got. Yes, we will be getting a new encounter, because we can now swim, y'all, we're gonna take the waterways, which, for this entire river, I can't get up there, for this river, we'll get... A brand new encounter of some kind. I didn't really... Okay, so here's the start of it. We're going to dash down this river and see what we get. If we make it to the ocean, fantastic. But here's the idea. We're just going to dash all the way down to get to the other side of Paldea. What did we run into? Okay. Um, cool, we got a Buizel. Um... Headbutt? Oh god, I'm really nervous for... I guess, what is... What's Buizel's status? Is this... This was a... Did someone say they found a water weasel on the IUCN red list? What would be like... Because I was... I thought it was like an otter. But apparently... Apparently everyone's claiming it's a water weasel. So what is... What's the... <laughs> Benny the Buizel, that's funny. Like, I figure out what this thing is, what it's based off of. So, is a water weasel a real thing? That's more so what I didn't... Like, what I didn't know about. So, wait, if I type in water weasel... Is this thing going to pop up on the... I'm not seeing a water weasel. It's not popping up. So I'm going to type in... River Otter. North American River Otter is least concern. So I'm going to say this thing is least concern. Let's catch it. And I need some nicknames. So we got, I think Mavis suggested Benny. Ooh. All right. Well, that was easy. Buizel has been caught. Tails from, oh, that's funny. Tails is a good one. Tails is a good one. Okay. Buizel has been added to the Pokedex. Benny. Oh, we got two people saying Benny now, though. Bob the Builder. Oh, that's that's a pretty good one, too. All right, let's give it a nickname. 
Okay. Ah, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I mean, we got two people voting for Benny, so... Booey! That's funny, too! I like Booey. Oh! You know what? I'm gonna go with... We're gonna go with Benny, because two people... Oh! Two people said Booey, too! Ah! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Booey? Okay, we got we got a couple people saying Booey. So we're gonna go with Booey. Booey the Buizel is added to the party. What is Booey's... What's Booey got going on for it? It has Swift Swim. Okay. Hi, has high defense, low special attack. Alright. I mean, that's okay. Um, and it has kind of awful moves. But... You know, it's only level 14. Um, I don't know how I guess I... <laughs> we'll see how long this thing joins the party. Just because I feel like it's going to be one of those things of... You know, we might run into other Pokemon that we might want to use. And that might be more beneficial. What TMs do I have? I have like no TMs. That's the thing, is that I don't think I have anything all that great. And I don't really know why... I think because in this game you have to make a lot of them, but also it's a very low level. I'm not going to teach it much because everyone else is level 21, while this thing is literally level 14. So I feel like it's going to be one of those things of... Booey might just kind of, you know... It might end up taking the backseat. Oh, I'm really glad we didn't get a Basculin. Because when we find other Pokemon, I might swap out some Pokemon... I guess that's a good question for y'all to answer so that when we get to this point, we can figure this out. Um, when I get more than six Pokemon, what? who should be the first Pokemon that I get rid of? Who should be the first one that I ditch out of the current team? Oh, there I go. All right. <laughs> Down the waterfall I went. You got a shiny Breloom? Yo, that's dope. I love that. Right at the end of the sandwich boost too. We love it. That's the best. That's the absolute best. When you get it right, right at the end of the sandwich boost. When you think it's all over. And then behold, you have another. You found it. The Holy Grail. You found the shiny Breloom. About to say, some people said Sunny D. Sunny D is also the goat. Oh, this doesn't count because I already caught my river Pokemon. So I'm just going to run away. Get rid of Sunny D. Sunny D might have to take the hit. Sunny D might have to take the hit. I guess it depends on the... Ah, oh, Psyduck, get out of my way. I don't want to fight you. Well, I guess... How quick, how quick do you think I can make this? Mega Drain. How fast? It's only level 12. Really? Really? You you buffed that? You buffed that Psyduck? Really? Okay, fine. Headbutt. Right at, end it. This is probably gonna give me no points too. That's probably this is probably a big waste of time. Okay, two Pokemon leveled up. I it felt like a waste of time, but I guess it really wasn't. <laughs> Keep Sunny D until the Elite Four? Oh my god. Get rid of Bowie instead. But I say Bowie is like the lowest level, but I guess it kind of depends on what we find in the new routes, like moving forward. Because hey, maybe, maybe we will want to get rid of a Water type if we find another Water type. Like if we find one of those Tauros, we might want to get rid of it. I have never traveled through the water like this. So, this is actually really interesting to me, <laughs> that you can go the entire map on this one river. We are like Tom Sawyer. Just going through all this. This is hilarious. Ditch Sunny D. I like that everyone is just saying get rid of Sunny D. Which, honestly, Sunny D is probably the weakest link, aside from Bowie. But Bowie does have potential. I'm just hoping... That we find, like, a really cool Pokemon. That's, like... Oh! What are you? Ah! Azeroth. I don't want to fight you. 
run away. You're only level six. About to say, I'm thinking of just doing the lowest level. I'm thinking of just maybe making just a general thing of the lowest level Pokemon gets canned. If the Pokemon is a higher... How about this? If the Pokemon is a higher level than the Pokemon... Oh, shut up. I really can't travel the entire way? Or can I? Can I go under? No. Really? Oh, wait. Is this the way to go? I already came from that way. So is it this way? Or is this rocks? Let me look on the map. Oh. There's, yeah, there's nowhere to go. Okay. So that was stupid. Well, I'm going to do what I was... Yo. Yo! Game. Game, what are you doing? Stop. I was like, I might have to... I'm about to disconnect my controller. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's, Okay. There we go. There we go. It was it was sticking. It was sticking really bad. So, well, I guess here's our best bet. Like, we don't need to. Yeah, we don't need to travel all that far. So I'm gonna go here, and that way we can just keep moving forward. We can just keep moving. Forward. But okay. Yeah. How about how about that rule? We'll just get rid of if the Pokemon we catch is a higher level than our lowest level Pokemon. The lowest level Pokemon gets booted. If it's not. Then the Pokemon that we just caught gets sent to the box. How about that? I feel like that's kind of a fun way to do it. Of like, oh. If we catch a Pokemon and our team is over leveled, then most likely we're going to keep our team. Because, two, if our team is over leveled, that means they're probably better than most of the Pokemon we're going to fight. So I feel like that's a good way. And then plus two, then it's like. I feel like it keeps with the Nuzlocke rules of, like, it keeps it all random. So we gotta head out. We gotta go, like, this way. East Province Area 1. New area. We are running in a straight line until I find something. We are aiming at our goal. Oh, God! Why is... Oh, no. Team Star is, like, way over. Oh, my God. I thought this was the Team Star base. I thought this was the Team Star base. Okay, keep running in a straight line towards our goal. We're trying to hit this town. Uh, I'm going to obviously grab that. The most direct route is this way. Running in a straight line. you got to be joking. I'm in the... Get out of the water! Get out of the water! Yeah, I'm not in the water anymore. Running in a straight line still. Running in a straight line until I find a Pokemon. I... Okay. What? Okay. Um, well, we essentially hit the goal. So, run in a straight line completely away from the Pokemon gym. And see what we find. What is happening? Why can't... And... Take a right! And... Take a left! And take a right before we hit the water. And take another left before we hit the water. And oh, what do we find? I'll take it. I will take this. This is a good Pokemon. I like this. I don't like who's out front. So I'm going to switch that up really fast. Oh, God, what do I use? Well, oh no, because you're a light. Oh god! Oh, Oinkaloin, and I use Disarming Voice, and this will be fine. Wait, what's an Albatross? What's an Albatross on the IUC and Red List? Wait, I gotta look this up now. Albatross. Oh, they're endangered slash vulnerable. 
which is fine because we have over a hundred dollars the next kilowattrol kilowattrol i think is based off an albatross isn't it it looks like one so i'm gonna call it one i'm gonna i'm gonna call it an albatross and i'm gonna say we can catch it i'm pretty sure it's what it is if someone can disprove that then let me know because i i really want to say it is but i might be wrong i might be wrong i don't think watchroll it but i thought kilowattrol was based off of an albatross i don't know but what i do know is i need everyone in chat to hit the b button <laughs> it's not but i'll come back okay i need everyone to hit that b button we're gonna try to catch it with the Pokeball! Come on! Come on! B! One, two, three! Oh! <laughs> Watchroll was caught. We need a nickname for Watchroll. We need a nickname for this thing. It is the Storm. Oh, it's a Petrol! Is that a bird? Is that a bird? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's a petrol? Lemon! That's funny. Or Jeremy. <laughs> oh, yeah, so they're petrols. The first one that pops up that looks the most like it is vulnerable. The black petrol. I like that. That's a cool looking bird. Wait, I want to see what it. I want to see what it says. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a nickname. So Watchroll. Let's name it. I like. I like Lemon. Fitzgerald. <laughs> I kind of like Lemon. I think I'm gonna go with Lemon for this one. I just think it's really cute. Like it's cute and it gives Lemon vibes. Like it gives very much like a Lemon vibe. Yeah, I spelled that right. And because you put an exclamation mark, I'm going to add an exclamation mark. <laughs> Lemon! Actually, I'm going to make it even funnier. I'm going to make it even more accurate to what you typed. All lowercase. With an exclamation mark. This is the run of literal nicknames. See, Lemon's summary. I do want to see its summary. What does this thing have? It is a flying terror type. That kind of sucks. It has Volt Absorb. That's going to be super useful for what we're doing. But okay, so I said it's based off of a black petrol. Black petrols are stable in the environment, so that's nice. They're considered vulnerable. Um, ooh, they're seabirds found off of, like, it looks like Peru and into the ocean that way. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> what are its what are its threats i'm curious okay the main threat faced by black petrol is by catch from commercial and subs oh fisheries oh okay so it gets caught up in other it gets caught up in like fishing nets and stuff like that that's sad oh Share the donation link and help save the black petrels. Oh, it's a pestrel? Is it a pestrel or a petrel? What, are, what am I saying? Half the stream is going to be me figuring out how to pronounce these animals' names. So I found a petrel. Is that right? Is a pestrel a thing? Is that a whole separate thing? What did you do? A pestrel. So what's a pestrel? Okay, yeah, pestrel isn't a thing. I'm gonna say it's a pestrel. Yeah, that's. I think that's petrol. This is petrol. I don't know. I like it. Lemon is going to get added to the party, though, because it's going to, yeah, it's going to replace Bowie, because Bowie is 
<laughs> the lowest level Pokemon we have right now. All right, Booey sent to the boxes, and now we have now we have this little guy. Now we have Lemon out of the party, which is gonna be very useful for uh, this gym. So I'm gonna put Lemon up front. Actually, no, I'm still gonna no. I will put Lemon up front. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and now I'm gonna backtrack so we can. <laughs> So we can find all the trainers because I what I don't want to do is go to this gym under leveled. We gotta go fight a bunch of trainers. But yeah, Volt Absorb is gonna be really useful for Iono. Uh, Volt Absorb is gonna be useful just in general. Like, given that it's a flying type, I feel like normally electric type moves would do. I know it's also an electric type, but I feel like now as a flying Terra type, it's gonna be really really beneficial because. I won't take damage as a Terra type. Yeah, I think yeah, like birds kind of similar to plants are probably gonna be in that category of like what's the closest thing to it? Where yeah, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be like one for one. Which a lot of Pokemon aren't going to be one for one. It's just more so like trying to figure out. What do you have for moves? Do you have... Thundershock's not bad. Is Peck... That's 35. What is Pluck? Well, that's 60. That's actually pretty good. This is kind of a good... This is a weirdly good Pokemon. Like not that it's... I was too shocked by that. But I feel like I'm a little shocked that it was actually so good. Okay, so where is... Where's like the path out of this town? Cause I feel like I need to walk the path in order to find the trainers. Cause most of the trainers are like on the path, I think, aren't they? Well, here's, here's someone. What do you have? Ooh, well that's kind of useful. I can take fling. So wait, so this goes this way. What's going on here? Emma's ace is only level 24? That's actually not that scary. I was expecting it to be much, much worse, truthfully. God, I thought one of those was a shiny for a second. Hey, shop it! Too bad I can't use that. I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it can do its, I'm hoping it can do its thing, but it might not. Oh God, crap, I walked up on the, what just happened? Oh, come on, how did I, I didn't mean to. At least I, at least I found the path. Okay, the funny thing is I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go through all this and not actually do it. This is so stupid. Hey, Cynical, welcome! <laughs> Paris and Parasec? Yeah, they just be- they just be bugs. They're just bugs. Like... I'm not gonna get- like, I don't get too crazy with it. But, like, it's more so, like... If I- if the Pokémon looks like it's based off of something, or I know it's based off of something, like, prominent, then it's like, okay, yeah, like... I'm just not gonna use it. Or like, I might use it or look it up and see what it is. Yeah, I think I just have to like turn around once he's done. But again, I'm on the path. So at least now I'll be able to know where I'm going. It just sucks I have to sit through a cutscene that I don't wanna do. But this will make it nicer for now when I come back to this area, I can just walk right up to it. It's kind of a double-edged sword. I don't like that I could just be in the general area and the game was like, oh yeah, you want this? And I'm like, no, I don't. So let's work our way backwards. Oh, Cyclozar! Did he? Did this Pokemon deliberately chase me down? Well, time to figure out if this is not a Pokemon that this Pokemon should be fighting. 
Very much not a Pokemon to fight. Very, very much not a Pokemon to fight. Um, God, what do I even want to use? I probably want to use you. I feel like Onion would be good for the upcoming gym. I feel like Onion is going to be pretty good. And I feel like I do kind of want to fight this Pokemon just because there's a Pokemon Center right there. And also, the levels wouldn't hurt. Getting some levels off the Cyclozar wouldn't hurt too bad. So, Headbutt? This probably be fine, right? Alright, maybe I'm also going to do a Leech Seed. <laughs> maybe we're also going to maybe we're also gonna do a little Leech Seed action here. Oh! Can I use Poison Powder? Oh! Can I use Mega Drain? Yeah! There we go. And I'm faster! Yay! That was stupid. Okay, maybe I'll use... Uh, maybe I'll use Chonkula. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll use Chonkula. Oh, God. <laughs> there we go. Effect Spore. Take it. Oh, come on! Really? I feel like... Really? Dang it. The one Pokemon Effect Spore was used on, and it sh shook it off immediately because of... That's stupid. That's so dumb. Cyclozar is kind of a cool-looking Pokemon, though. I feel like it never really... Oh, Disarming Voice would have been super effective because it's a dragon. Um, stupid. Um, dumb. Come on. Maybe this thing will just knock it out. Eh, yeah, it's pretty close. All right, Disarming Voice. Yo, what up, Jamer? Welcome, homie. Welcome, welcome. Okay, there we go. We defeated it. Ta-da! And not really the luck. So, on that note, you're going to go up front. You're going to get moved here. And you're going to get moved here. And that's that's how I that's how I want this to go. That's how I want this to go. I think this is the best, this makes the most sense because they can gain the most levels and then they can also just, you know, not die and they can be beneficial. I'm trying to grow these Pokemon all very efficiently and effectively. There's a thousand Tauros over here too and that's going to be a bummer. That's going to be such a bummer. Kilowatch was based on the bird of the giant neck sacks. Is that not an Albatross? I don't even know. I don't even know what half these things are supposed to be anymore. I thought I thought I knew what these Pokemon were based off of, and I've just I feel like I've been lied to. I feel like I don't really know what's happening anymore. <laughs> Jamer, you finally made it to your stream. I was keeping it warm for you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is a good Pokemon to have up front. This worked out. This worked out. If I had Razor Leaf, that'd be really cool, but you know, Mega Drain works just as well, I think. <laughs> it's Cookie. Wait, who's Cookie? Oh, is that this person's name? I didn't really pay attention. Big Black Seabirds with. Is it a Black Petrol? Because that's what I looked up, and that's what I. <laughs> that's what I used as my reference for if this thing could join the team or not. There's a black petrel, and they are seabirds that get caught in fishing nets. So, I mean, that's a bummer. Hey, Sunny D leveled up. Nice. Giga Drain, what do you currently have? Oh, okay, so Giga Drain is way better than Mega Drain. Okay. You get Cookie as your nickname as a cook? That's, be that's better than my nickname. My nickname when I was working in food industry was dumbass. Or hey you. Those were those were my nicknames in the food industry. Uh, hence why I don't work in food anymore. <laughs> oh my god. I mean honestly, props to anyone that does work in the food industry because the food industry is hard. It is hard. Mrs. Corn's family comes from owning a restaurant, and. That is a hard job to do. 
Like, in most cases, it's the, kind of the thing of like, oh, the management is what makes working in the food industry hard. But in their case, it was like the opposite of like, oh god, their lack of employees makes working in the food industry hard. It's so weird. I don't know, I looked it up. Look up a black petrol and see if it is. Those Tauros are waiting so ominously for me. And I don't like it. I don't like how they're just prepared. They're just, they're ready to take me down at any moment and I don't like it. I also realize I easily could have used um, lemon for this, but that's okay. <laughs> it's rough. People in the food industry can be mean. I don't know why. Maybe because they're sad. But, like, that's the th I liked working in the food industry. It was, like, one of those things of I enjoyed it until it was, like, not fun. Like, until people... And, but it was people making it not fun. For the most part, it really wasn't, like, that bad. Like, it was kind of fun to, like, make the food and just kind of, like, hang out with people and stuff like that. Talk to customers. That was super fun. I mean, the person who's talking to a bunch of people off the internet right now, obviously, I kind of like talk. If I'm working, I like talking to people. <laughs> but I feel like it was just one of those things of everyone else took it so... And, like, not that I didn't take it seriously, but, like, whenever I do, like, live stuff, like, work or just other things, I take it seriously, but at the same time... I don't know, and I don't know if anyone else is like this, where they, they take it seriously to where it's, like, they're not deliberately messing up or goofing off. But I also don't like to take things so seriously that it's no longer fun. Like, as soon as I start taking something way too seriously, I get really stressed out. And then when I get really stressed out is when it all stops being fun. Yes! Seriously, rude bosses are the worst in the food industry. Like, that is, like, so, so prominent. This guy says Squawkabilly. So I'm going to assume he has a squawk ability that I'm about to wreck. <clears throat> okay, but that's the thing. Like, money can be found. Like, you can go work at Target. Or, like, you can go work at, like, a uh, like a grocery store or something and still get money. But hopefully have... I mean, all, you can't really... Unfortunately, it's one of those things that you don't really have a total say in what your bosses are going to be like wherever you go. You could be working your dream job and your boss could still be a total jerk. Which is a big, big bummer if that's ever the case. Oh, I can't use it twice in a row. Stupid. Uh, uproar? How's uproar going to work? I'm literally in a torment right now. Can they just not go back to back? That's fair. When you're doing it in a sense of, like, you're serving, you know, like, a group of soldiers. Yeah, you can't really, uh, you can't really falter too much. Stop! 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 Oh my god! You are, that was almost awful. You're jo- Oh my god! Oh! Bro, has anyone, anyone else's life flash before their eyes just then, or was that just me? God, you're gonna be joking. We're okay. We're okay. Yeah, working in like- I See, I liked working in small- The downside about working in small businesses is just, you know- the lack of pay for the most part that's the thing is that like i know people that work like that do the same job i do so like i have a friend that oh it's a koala no le no lemon didn't die lemon didn't lemon lived we saved it but that's the thing of like working at like small versus big plate like like i'm a videographer for a living that's what i do I don't get paid a whole lot because I work for a nonprofit. My friend who works for the Colts and now the Cincinnati Bengals, very different boat of paychecks. 
But we do roughly the same job. If you boil it down, we're doing the same thing. But it's like, you know, one person's working for a nonprofit and the other person's working for the NFL. There's gonna be some differences. Yes, my la my life just flashed before my eyes and it was awful. And so now I'm gonna eat this apple in real fast. The what? The Cincinnati Bengals, right? Isn't that the team? The Indianapolis Colts? Is it that I know that I know that's the team. It's just Right. Right. No. Yeah. I'm not stupid. No. That's yeah. That's that's it. It's the Cincinnati Bengals. Hey, look, onions evolving. Let's focus on that in case I messed up the NFL team. And it's evolving at an angle. Look at this side slant. Hey, we got Broom. No, the Colts. Like the horse. Okay, it's a grass fighting type. Dope. It scatters poisonous spores and throws powerful punches while its foe is oh uh, hampered by inhaled spo Oh my god! This thing chokes its This thing's strategy is to throw spores at you. And you choke as it beats you. Whoever says grass type Pokemon are not. Grass types go hard. Grass types go hard. This thing's whole thing is that it's trying to choke you out. And. Grass types go hard. Grass types go hard. Mock Punch. 40 damage. That's a 70. I kind of want to keep that, but I kind of don't. What does this do? It always goes first. Uh, I can always add it back. I can always add it back if I regret this. It is so deadly. Yes, Red Bozo. I love that. Were you here, Nelson, when we were doing the streams with... Um, we were doing our initial Violet Nuzlocke or Egg Lock, and I had Dumb Bozo the dundozo that because that was fun i enjoyed that that was a good time and dumb bozo did so well and then i think i killed dumb bozo at a really inopportune time Breloom is cool and Breloom, a lot of people are saying kangaroos that it's based off of you know what i'm gonna say it's based off of a wallaby i'm gonna say it's based off a of wallaby and i think it's cool because like Wallabies are just like little kangaroos, and they're very, very unique. So there's a lot of different types of wallabies, too, which is really, really fun. Um, and one of them is like the Bennett's wallaby, and it's like a... Uh, it's, I thought you had a fire type. Why are you throwing this? Whatever. But like a Bennett's wallaby is also called a redneck wallaby, and they're really, really cute. And we have a little joey at the zoo, uh, Bennett wallaby. So it's super adorable because you can see it moving around in the pouch. But they're really cute and they're kind of feisty. Like they're weirdly feisty. Um, but then there's also Tamar Wallabies that live in the forest. They actually live in the forest of Australia. And they're super cute because when they jump around, they lock their elbows. So their little arms are just like out to the side as they hop around. It's super cute. Azumarill, switch Pokemon. I want to give Sunny D a chance. I want to give Sunny D a chance to take on this Pokemon. Dude, if I had Seed Bomb and Sky Uppercut, I would 100% teach it. Unfortunately, I don't have those moves. <laughs> oh, you used Breloom in your second playthrough? Yes. But I say, I was like, I've never used one. You gotta be joking. Bounce. Okay. Okay, get get me out of here. 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 Who do I? You're tanky, Chonkula. You're tanky. What's the most exotic animal I like that are at the zoo? Oh, well, we, so we have a lot of like, we have a lot of really exotic animals. Like we have a whole section dedicated to uh, Africa, where we have like 
giraffes, we have addicts, we have zebra, we have rhinos, red river hogs. Um, I will say though, probably the most exotic. That's kind of that's kind of a hard question though, because like, it's, what do you count as most exotic? I can remember seed bomb. You're joking. I can remember that. I never would have guessed that I'd be able to remember that move. What? Really? That's wild. Mostly, I'm trying to think what the most exotic animal is. We have a t we have a lot of really, really, really interesting things. Um, what's? Oh my gosh! I'm gonna keep hiding from this Azumaro. Ex most exotic. Like, yeah, what do you count as like most exotic? We have an Okapi, which is probably one of the rarest animals that we have just because it wasn't discovered officially until like i think the mid 1900s is when people found the okapi and were like this is for sure an animal here's like here like here's evidence of it type of thing which is really really wild because okapi are like Obviously, they look kind of like giraffe, or they look like um, horses and zebras, but like they're actually based off of, or they're not based off of, they're actually closest related to uh, giraffes, which is really, really cool, just because, like, you wouldn't really think about it, but it's, it's kind of neat. It's kind of a neat thing. Is it true koalas delete people? Are they aggressive? Um... No, they're just riddled with chlamydia. We don't have, um, we don't have, uh, koalas at the zoo that I work at. I mean, you don't want to touch it. It's a wild, like, it's a wild animal. You still, like, I I'm sure it's aggressive if you, you know, like, don't touch. Oh, I didn't see that right there. I didn't see this little thing. Like, I mean, if you try to grab, if you try to grab it and it doesn't want to be grabbed, it's going to for sure bite and claw you. Like, there's... It, it, like, it'll defend itself the best it can. They're actually kind of fast. They're not really slow animals. They're just kind of, like, dumb. Because they have really, really smooth brains. Because, you know, why... Why would an animal need to have wrinkles in its brain? Why would an animal need to be smart? Um, I've heard that the eucalyptus they eat um, is actually like I've heard. I don't know. If, I think it's a, I feel like it's a rumor, but I've heard that the eucalyptus they eat, which is the only thing they eat, similar to how pandas only eat bamboo, that the eucalyptus isn't actually very good for them. Like it's, I feel like I want to say it's like minorly toxic or something. Like it's something of like it's just not. There's something, there's something in them that makes them just be like, this is the only thing I want to eat. But it's apparently not good for them? Bam well, bamboo, I don't think bamboo is, I don't think bamboo is toxic to uh, pandas. I think bamboo, the issue that I've heard is that it has very little nutritional value. So that's more so the problem with bamboo is pandas are even red pandas which fun fact red pandas were discovered first which makes them the original panda but i feel like even for an animal that's small like a red panda the bamboo doesn't really supply a lot of nutrients to them so like yeah no like a giant panda is really big and they have they literally have to spend all day eating not and not even like other animals where it's like oh they expend so much energy that they have to just eat all day or like oh they just have to get all the nutrients like they literally have to get as many nutrients as physically possible by just devouring as much bamboo as they possibly can that's why their babies are so tiny like, they have really, really itty-bitty babies 
because their babies aren't getting the proper nutrients. And they just slowly get bigger and bigger and bigger, God knows why. Ooh. Yes. So here's the thing. Most cats are, like, solitary. So, like, we have two tigers at the zoo, and the biggest question is, like, how come you don't put the tigers together? It's like, because they will literally try to kill each other. Even during mating season, there's very high risk of them just trying to kill each other. Um, just because that's what they don't, they don't need. It's like one of those things that when you, when you really think about it, they don't need to have allies. Tigers are some of the biggest cats on earth. There's no reason for them to need to work together when they're mainly hunting deer and pigs. Lions, on the other hand, are not the biggest thing in Africa. That's the thing, is that, like, lions, I'm pretty sure, work as a group from an evolutionary standpoint of, like, we need each other. Like, if we don't, we can't take down big prey. It's hard, like, because they also, because everything, too, in Africa also has really, like, like, what's the word for it? They just, like, everything herds. Every, everything is in big herds. Like, zebras hate each other. Fun fact, zebras are incredibly temperamental, and they do not get along with one another. But they will literally to just survive they zebras understand that when they're in a group they won't get picked off as easily so they will put up with one another just to ward off predators but they are really mean zebra like that's why zebras have not been domestic that's not, like that's one of the reasons oh my god why are you critical hitting me but yeah, that's one of the big reasons why zebras were never domesticated. Like, a lot of people are like, they're horses. They're like, or they're very similar to horses. Like, how come they weren't domesticated? They literally can't. They're not built like horse, like a normal horse, where they can carry heavy loads. And they're also incredibly temperamental. Yeah, wildebeest are also, like, kind of aggressive. And yeah, in that sense of... They just hang out with one another because they know that they're better together than separate. Oh my god, one of them lost a leg? That's, okay. I will kind of say, though, that's a little bit concerning that no one was monitoring that. I guess you can't, if they were introduced together and they were like, oh, they've been fine. Like, you know, like, we've been keeping track of them and like they seem to be getting along and then just one day they kind of snapped i could see that but i feel like if animals aren't meant to be together you need to have really controlled mating sessions because yeah you never know when one of them is going to get tired of the other one like that's a little that's a little sketchy that they weren't really watching them i feel like you gotta really be watching big cats because because they're so freaking dangerous oh my god we have a lion at the zoo we have two of them but we have uh the male lion i got video of him one day using his claws on like a like a big scratching tree and you can just see his claws come out oh my it's horrifying it's just like he seems like such because he's like 14 he seems like such a big cuddle bug like because he's pretty he's pretty chill he's pretty lazy but then you just see those like massive claws come out. Surely, I'm surely lying, you know it. <laughs> you just see those really big claws and you're just like, that's absolutely terrifying. Or like when they yawn, oh my god, they're like teeth, like you just see their massive freaking canines. And it's just like, Oh my god, it just like, it's horrible. It's like, horrifying. It's, con it's just, yeah. It's just, a, it's wild. Like, big, big cats are really, really cool. And I have like, friends now that are like, oh, I love taking care of like, predators. Like, this is what I 
do for a living. This is fun for me. And I will, like, I'll go into the habitats with them when there's, like, because we don't go in with the animals. That's also a thing. No going in with the animals. That's a very big thing. Yo, what up, Jave or Ahmed? How you doing, Ahmed? Um, we don't go in with the animals, but it's one of those things of, like, yeah, um, when you do go in, it's, like, when you do go into the habitat to do cleaning, and when I go into the habitat to follow them, to get behind the scenes of them cleaning, it's scary, because it's like, okay, there's theoretically an animal, like, this is, like, where the animals live. It's wild. Catch a cerule edge. I don't have. I don't have a cerule edge. I don't have. I don't. I can't catch one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're doing a nuzlocke. We're doing a nuzlocke challenge. If you do use the rules command, uh, it'll explain all the rules. What do I? What's it? What does it want me to get rid of? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna not learn roost. I like roost, but I'm just not gonna learn it. And they beat me, so still won't get up. Ahmed, though, what is your favorite Pokemon, homie? Welcome to the stream. And what's your favorite Pokemon? That's all. That's always, I feel like, a fun question to ask new people. And it always just, it, it interests me a lot, just because we got there's so there's so many cool Pokemon in the world of Pokemon. And I always I always like to know what people like is their favorites. For me, Don fan, I'm a big fan of. Garchomp, dude, that's a cool, that is a cool Pokemon. I feel like a lot of people say, oh, East Province Area 2, wait a minute. Did we? Wait, we have an encounter we didn't get. We didn't get East Province Area 1. Oh, because, because Kilowatt Troll Kilowak or the Wachtrel is from Area 2. So it's time to get an encounter. Running in a straight line. Running in a straight line until I hit a Pokemon East Province Area 1. Going back up this way. Go 2. Zigzagging, 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 zigzagging. What are we going to find? What are we going to find? Already caught a Hoppip. Can't do a Hoppip. And going this way. Oh! <laughs> Deerling! Level 21? So... I mean, deer are everywhere. Like, deer are all over the place. So we can we can catch this, but it's gonna go live in the box because um, it's we have a full team and it's the it's lower level than the other Pokemon. So this will be a backup grass type. This will be a backup grass type. Oh, my favorite starter has got to be Mudkip. I'm a huge Mudkip fan just because I, I I'm kind of partial to like ground types. I think ground types are really really cool. Um, and yeah, I think I just think Mudkip, like sw Marsh Stomp, Swamper, it's just kind of like, like I don't want to say it's like the perfect starter Pokemon, but it just feels like the perfect starter Pokemon to me. It's just really cool. Hanging out with a deer right now. <laughs> you have a deer with you. Is, Pl is this gonna kill it? I feel like Pluck isn't gonna actually do that much damage to it. I might be wrong. I might ruin this encounter, but. Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. Yep. I ruined that. All right. Well. Luckily, we had, you know, we don't have a spot open, so it's not like we were wasting anything. <gasps> Yay! You got Mudkip as your first starter. I love that. My first, my first ever starter. Actually, you know what? I think my first ever starter was Eevee. Because I played Pokemon uh, Coliseum... Or not Pokemon Coliseum. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. So, I think that was actually my first... It was either that or Charmander. 
but I was hoping to get a Mudkip. I wanted Mudkip to be my first one because I was trying to buy the Hoenn games. I wanted a Generation 3 game, and I, but that was before I obviously knew Pokemon, and so I got Fire Red. And I'm like, oh, this is perfect. Like, I can have the Pokemon my friends were playing. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> I realized so late into the game that I grabbed the wrong game. It was still super fun, and I'm glad I played it first because later found out it's a remake of the original Pokemon game. But I was a little disappointed when I couldn't find any of the Pokemon that I was really, really, like, enjoying on my friend's game. So that was a slight bummer, but that's a fun, that's a fun fact of... How I got into Pokemon. I grabbed the wrong Pokemon game. <laughs> Dude, okay, same. I posted this on Twitter today. Skeledridge, Skeledurge, whatever you call it, is probably one of my favorite fire types, if not like my second favorite starter Pokemon. It's a really, really cool Pokemon. I love it. Like, this whole generation was the first time I got hyped about the starter Pokemon since Generation 4. Because I didn't play Generate, like, I wasn't, I played Generation 5 and 6, but not when they initially came out. So I wasn't there for, like, the initial hype of it. And when, when I was there for the initial hype of Gen 7... I was not a fan of the Alolan starter Pokemon. I just didn't like them. So, and I also didn't really like Generation 8. I didn't like the, like, Sword and Shield starters. I liked a lot of Sword and Shield Pokemon, just not the starters. Um, so then it just became a thing of, like, I was just, I felt like I was going to be on this downward spiral until, like, okay, like, Starter Pokemon just aren't hitting like they used to. That's totally fine. But then, honestly, even uh, Quaquavel, I liked it a lot. It's really, it's really unique. And it has, like, a lot of character to it. And I think that's what I kind of enjoyed about it. Is that it just had a lot of, like, they put a lot of time and effort into a lot of small details with it to just make it this really well-rounded, like, character. Because that's ultimately what, like... And, and see, and that's the thing. That's where I, I think I like the Generation 9 Pokemon starters, like, a lot. Just because they all fit within each other. Like, they all fit the same theme. Like, they definitely grew on me. I think all the initial stages... It is a dancing duck. But, like, it's cool because the idea, the inspiration is that they're all performers. So it's like Skeledurge is a singer and like um, Quacks, uh, Kukwavel, how do you say it? I can't say its name. Kukwavel is like a, it's a dancer, you know? It's there to perform and like dance for you. And like Meowskarata is a magician, which is just really, really cool. Yeah, but I'll say, I think Skeledurge is my favorite. I actually think Meowskarata is my third. I think Kukwavel is my second favorite. And then uh, Meowskarata Meowsk is my, uh, what do you call it? Uh, my third. Yo, what up, Whimsy? What's going on here? We are doing a charity stream for the World Wildlife Fund, where we are dedicating two hours of my stream to raising money and raising awareness for the World Wildlife Fund. Did not realize they were going to have... A water type move but welcome whimsy what's your favorite Pokemon and what's your favorite animal y'all because we're talking about world wildlife fun here we're raising money for them they do a lot of great work and they are currently trying to combat climate change that and that affects all of us y'all we are all part of that mission of trying to protect this planet save the earth and have some fun along the way so we're doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke where we are using Pokemon um, but if they are like in the realm of, you know, like, 
um, what do you call it, like, endangered or, like, vulnerable. Like, I can't use every single Pokemon that I run into. I have to, like, consider the real-world animal. It's ba If it is based off of a real-world animal, I have to consider what it's based off of and its uh, environmental status to see if I can actually use it on my team. The more money I raise, the more Pokemon get unlocked. So that's just incentive to either donate to share the link with other people and get them to donate so we can start using more Pokemon. It's really, really cool. Welcome back, Nelson. Welcome back. Crocodiles, here's the question for you. Favorite animal is crocodile? Which crocodile is your favorite? Yeah, we got 11 people here. Let's go, let's go. Shout out to the Tuesday streams. <laughs> I was say, that's the, I think, oh, Ahmed. This one's for you, Ahmed. This one's for you, Skillad. <laughs> Do you have a real world favorite crocodile species? There's a couple different species of crocodiles, but Skeladurge is a good one. <laughs> I like that res I like that response though. That wasn't what I was thinking, but I like it. Um, what is this? It's a uh, yeah, I, I bet I could use I bet Sunny D can do good on this. He did yeah, you called it, dude. I, yeah. Literally favorite animal, crocodile. What gets thrown out? A sand crocodile. Saltwater croc. Those are so cool. I think those are the biggest, right? I'm pretty sure those are like the largest crocodile species i mean crocodiles of almost any species can get huge same with alligators they are just freaking nuts but yeah i think saltwater crocodiles can get massive yes well actually it depends on what hippopotamus is um okay yeah and it, and it depends on well it depends on toxicroak so toxicroak are bigger than or toxicroak is based off of poison dart frogs which might actually have a more threatened status than hippos. Small things, unfortunately, are really, really susceptible. Like, we have, um, at the zoo, what do you call it? Um, they're, oh, what do you call them? Cotton top tamarins. We have cotton top tamarins, and they are only found in like Colombia, and they are like rapidly declining because of deforestation because they're only found in one area they're literally the size of like my hand and so like when you take down their forests i mean they're just gonna their numbers just go down rapidly it's really unfortunate but like i mean that's why we're that's why we're trying to raise money to help save animals like saltwater crocodiles like cotton top tamarins You're joking, Jamer, you're joking. You did not, you did not, your friend did not almost lose a hand to a crocodile, did they? Is that real? Are you telling the truth right now? Is that a real thing? What? Can I use prehistoric animals? No. So prehistoric animals and mythical animals have, it, like, based on this gameplay, they have the status of extinct. Serious? Oh my god. So that's the thing. The mythical mythical Pokemon are considered extinct, which means that, like, I can't. I think it, I think it's time to go fight the gym. But yeah, mythical Pokemon, uh, prehistoric Pokemon are considered extinct, and I can't use ghost Pokemon are considered extinct, obviously. So I can't use those Pokemon until I hit one thousand dollars or. Un unless one of you trades me one of these Pokemon, but you have to redeem the trade option, which is down in the description, and it costs 5,000 gold pieces, which is our stream currency. That's another way that people can donate without having to actually, like, donate physical money. The man proceeded to laugh at him. That's not funny. That is so dangerous. Those, they're so fast. They are alarmingly fast. Like, you do not want to mess... You don't want to mess with them. That's so alarming. 
Wait, the zoo you went to had crocodiles or they had cotton top tamarins? I was, I feel like I was all over the place and I don't really remember what I was, what we were talking about. Chira's 2,500 gold pieces. Dang, dude. I mean, I think the closest, I think Aster is the closest to being able to actually redeem it. But we are about to go do, because here's the thing, y'all. You can actually hit, you can hit these redemptions pretty quick. If you guys bet a lot at once, if you guys do big bets all at once, you could easily double your stuff. Yes, using cotton tops. They're so cute. They're so, so tiny, and they have super, super long tails. Like, they're really, really cute. But they are really, really, really struggling. Oh my god, right? That's oh, here's a wild, here's a wild story about animals coexisting with like one another and animals understanding stuff that happens around them. So, my coworker told me a story of uh, a zoo that had tigers. They had tigers at their zoo, and these kids were throwing rocks at the tiger they were like i think she said they were like peeing on it and stuff like like they were trying to pee at it and stuff like that like just really really rude really really mean like stuff that you just shouldn't be doing to like an animal like just straight up being mean um and it was pissing the tiger off and so what happened this tiger apparently scaled the enclosure and the enclosure was apparently a pitfall which means that there's no super high fencing it's what it was was separating people from the tiger was a really deep really wide pit yo aster i knew you were close i knew you were close i knew you're you're bus i hope you have a pokemon in mind to trade me unless you're just hoarding it all but i hope you have a pokemon in mind because I'm ready for it. You can give me any, you can send me literally anything. You can send me any Pokemon. I have to battle one more trainer. Hold on. Where's one more trainer to battle? Um, but okay, back to the story. So these kids were like bullying the tiger. Tiger got mad, hopped like the barrier, like took all of its strength to like jump it and scale up and Apparently, too, people said that there was a employee with headphones on weed whacking the space in between the tiger and the people. And the tiger walked right by him. The tiger ignored the zoo employee because the zoo employee was just minding his own business. He wasn't what the tiger... The tiger, like, knew that this was the target. The target were the kids. How? Like, how terrifying is You'd think a tiger that's upset would just go on a rampage. Like, there's, like, no one's safe. Like, oh, they made a tiger mad. It scaled the habitat. Like, just everyone get out. But... No. Like, literally, everyone else was fine except for those kids. And that's wild to me to think about because that just proves how smart they are and also how dangerous they are. Like, I don't know why... It, they thought that was a good idea. I need one more person to battle because I want to get what that guy is offering. But it was so, it's like the stupidest story you've ever heard. But I say, yeah, I think it was at like a big zoo like that. I'm not, like, we couldn't remember exactly where it happened. Because fun, <laughs> fun fact, that stuff happens a lot in the zoo field. There is a lot of stories of people getting severely hurt because of like unfortunate incidences. Not at my zoo. My zoo's been safe. 
we've been good, but in some bigger zoos, I guess accidents happen. They happen way more often than what you think they do. And it's just a work hazard. It's just a hazard of the job. Everyone, they know it. Why is this Pokemon level 26? But it's... It's crazy. It's crazy to think about. That's crazy. When the, so we will do um, the 22nd of April Earth Day is the last day to donate. So like, whatever the stream is before. Good God! This might not be a good battle for me. A Rufflet? What level are you? You're also level 26? Why? Wait. I don't like this, Zach. I don't like this. You're... Ah, but there are only three levels. That seems... I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna beat it. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, it was... That's a... That was a not good... That was a not good Pokemon battle. Why did that kid have level 26 Pokemon? Also, do I need to have higher level Pokemon? I feel like I'm not prepared for this. So I might go see if there's other people to battle. Which sucks because we're not making a lot of progress here, but... Or, will I be good? Will I be good? Because, no, wait, yeah, you guys said, yeah, you guys said that it's not 20s. And plus, she's electric types. This will be fine. We'll be fine. Psyduck, get out of my way. Uh, yeah, elephants are also, like, you don't want to mess with them. I don't know why people, I don't know why people do that. People, like, there's tons of stories, too, about which is the worst with large animals, like elephants and, like, rhinos. So, like, a lot of the times, people will build habitats for, like, elephants and rhinos and things like that because they're such big animals they'll just build habitats that are with posts that are or like beams or something that are rather spaced apart which will prevent the animal from escaping because they're so big but they won't necessarily prevent people from going in and i mean you know not to be that guy again but like just because you can walk up to an animal doesn't mean you should walk up to an animal because here's a little insider tip um most zoos have adapted the philosophy of animals are no longer here for our entertainment animals are here to be ambassadors for their wild counterparts which means that um the goal is to keep animals wild zoos like do things to limit contact with the animal directly as well as they give them activities to encourage natural wild behaviors which means if you go into a lion habitat at most zoos that's not like a joe exotic type of thing the lion is gonna know what to do when you walk in. That's the, <laughs> that's the thing. They're gonna know that, oh, you shouldn't be here. And they'll, they'll make it quick to like, get rid of, yeah, elephants attacking people are the, that's, it's brutal. It is not, it's not a good sight. It's not a good sight. Aw, Emperor Tamarins are really cool. I really like the Golden Tamarins. Have you guys seen those? Where they're like all, like this like nice auburn orange color. They're super, super cool. Let's actually just be looking. I looked at my phone for a second just to see if I don't need notifications. But they're really, Tamarins are such a unique species of monkeys too. Like there's so many. They're just so, they're so versatile. There's just a ton of different like, yeah, like the emperor ones have like the cool mustaches. Like the cotton top ones have like the cool like hair pieces. The golden ones have those like nice long manes. Oh, super cool. Yeah, 
Wait, what? Otters are the name one? Otters that... Wait, what? What about otters? Otters are cute. Otters are freaking vicious. You also, like... You, you do... Okay, you do not want to mess with otters, though. They are, like... <laughs> They're cute. They're super, super cute. But they are nasty. They are brutal, brutal little creatures. Um, the vet at the zoo I work at. Oh, God, I got to fight Nimona? Oh, what? <laughs> I wasn't reading. I wasn't reading. All right, well, here's a fun little pre-gym battle. Let's see what happens. And I, I mean, this isn't, I didn't know this battle was a thing, so we're not doing a bet. Okay, Rockruff. I can handle that. Whoops. I might lose all my Pokemon. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nimona might school me. I'm gonna, you know what? F it, Sunny D, get out there. Sunny D, get out there and hold your own. Everyone's rooting against you, Sunny D, and I want you to show everyone how strong you are. And just in case this thing uses a wild attack, I wanted you to take the hit. <laughs> I was like, Sunny D, you can take the hit and that's gonna be okay. I feel bad because she's raising her attack stat and I feel I feel like he's not gonna get to use it. Ooh. Okay. My moves are ripening. Thanks, Nimona. Thanks, Nimona. Okay. And let's hope for the best here. Double team? Alright. Yo, what? You had the. It was known that you had the most aggressive elephant? That's wild. Yeah, elephants are smart. It's hard to keep, it's hard to contain them. It's really, really hard to contain them. A Palmy switch Pokemon. You are a electric type, so we're gonna swap in. This gets a little risky. It's an electric fighting type. I'm swapping into my normal type, but I kind of need it. Oh, I should have used, I should have used my electric bird. I should have used lemon. Luckily I'm faster, so that's okay. Luckily, I'm faster. Um, I think, though, one of the... Oh, my God. Apes are the freaking worst. Like, they are absolutely... Ter they're literally terrifying. They're way, 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 way too smart. Like, I... Yeah. We have... We don't have... Uh, we have apes and stuff at the zoo. Oh, yeah. This is the... I was like, what Pokemon is that? It's the it's the crocodile! It's her starter Pokemon, which we didn't we don't have our starter anymore, but that's okay. They do. They plot hard. They're just smart. And like you gotta keep them. Yeah, that's where like and that's the positive of a lot of zoos are going more towards like keeping animals wild. They're keeping them like, you know, like they're giving them activities and stuff to do during the day, like enrichment items. They just kind of like help them stay wild and help them stay active and like because i feel like especially with apes if you don't keep them active they're going to start plotting against you like they're gonna have a lot of behavioral problems okay so she has her crocodile water pulse i forgot this is a her ace, so I probably also should have terrestrialized. So time for a big terrestrialization before I pass out. <laughs> Let's go! Aqua Tail! That's a 90 base power. Let's go. She got the Taco Croco! You know it! Look at this little thing. With the little egg sombrero. That's cute. Let's go! Aqua Tail! No! I'm gonna fall asleep now! Dang it! Come on! 
Luckily, it's not very effective, but... Yeah, I want to... Howard! Dang it! Oh, my God. Okay, where's... Do I have some... Yeah, I got five Awakenings. It feels like a lot, but that's okay. I'm glad I have them, at least. I'm glad I have them. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we've been talking a lot about animals, y'all. So again, if you have not donated, please consider donating. The link is in the description as well as it pops up in the chat from time to time. Um, but also, I mean, there's always, you know, ways you can uh, help spread the message by sharing the stream, sharing the donation link with other people. Uh, I'd appreciate any anything at all. Um, whether you share it, whether you donate. Hey, we're all in this together, y'all. We are here to stream and raise money for the planet to help save all these amazing animals we've been talking about. Look at these Pokemon leveling up. Holy cow. Skeledurge can be scary. Yeah. Skeledurge is like... Not like a cutesy Pokemon, but like it kind of is. It's a good embodiment of a crocodile. I'm gonna not... I'm gonna not have that. Skeletor is just... It's, it's so cool. The like fire ghost typing. I mean, that's already like unmatched. Just like how beating Nimona was unmatched. Of course we were going to beat her. There was no way. Yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for this. Oh, I was so nervous I wasn't going to have a strong enough Pokemon for this gym. Yes! Lemon evolved! Thank god. Uh, Kill Watchful inflates its throat sack to amplify its electricity by riding the wind. This Pokemon can fly over 430 miles in a day. Wow! Look at Lemon Go! Look at Lemon Go! Yes, Electro Ball. Forget a move. What do you got? The faster the user is and the target, the greater the move's power. That's not bad. I'm gonna forget Uproar just because I get that move makes me nervous. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited. It's such a good Pokemon. This is, like, one of my favorite, like, top Gen 9 Pokemon. I use it in my competitive team, and it's so much fun. Like, I'm so glad I added a Kilowatt Troll to my competitive team, just because, like, oh, it's so good. Yes, thank you for the hypes. Thank you for the emotes. Let's go, questers. Let's freaking go, y'all. All right. Now we gotta do the gym. We gotta heal and we gotta do the gym test. Oh my god. This team this team is really coming together, y'all. This team's doing great. This team is really, really coming together. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go heal before I go do the gym challenge, but look at us go! Look at us go! And now it's time for everyone everyone's favorite thing. Or I hope it's everyone's favorite thing. We gotta start these bets, y'all. We gotta start the betting. And now I have a full team. So I can either lose no Pokemon or I can lose... But if I lose six, that's game over. Yeah, so it has to be one through five. If I lose all six, it's game over. But I could also... I could lose all five and keep one... And this is where, too, y'all could make some really big bets if you want to. Like, I mean, that's the thing, too, is that, like, there's a double, there's a duplicate. Um, time to gamble with fake money, so it's okay. <laughs> but there's a, so there's a, um, it'll double your winnings. So if you're the only person that bet on the correct outcome... And like the pool is a thousand, you will get. You should theoretically get two thousand. I would also not not like to lose our Pokemon, but like you never know. And I will say, I will remind everyone, the pre gym challenge does not count. So keep in mind, like you might want to save your bet until you see how these outcomes come, like come out. Because if I lose a Pokemon to these pre, like the pre-trainers, that Pokemon is considered dead. I can't use it. I have to release it. Which would affect the gym outcome. I just put it on early so that you guys can be making your bets whenever you see fit. Aster has 
4,990 gold pieces. Oh my god. I kinda... I kinda want someone to bet their entire bag on this. But at the same time, I don't. Because I'll feel really, really bad. <laughs> but I think it would be funny. Because... Playing it safe is probably it's probably a good idea. Oh, and not bet. You're not gonna bet anything. Okay. Funny use it. Jamer, I do it. I dare you. Bet none for 2500 Oh my god. I will say Saturday, we had incredible luck. We had really, really, really good luck on saturday where i didn't lose a single one of these pokemon like whenever we were doing these battles i did incredibly incredibly well <laughs> if i if i win i get a bulbasaur Ooh, very fun okay okay oh my god <laughs> mavis is like i'll do 30 i'll play it safe there's no wrong way to bet. There's no wrong way to bet. It's just hilarious to see the, like, drastic nature of all this. I think Saturday's stream really helped with the confidence. We are very confident, but I am cautious still. I'm still cautious. Okay, so I gotta find this guy among the crowd. This will be easy, because I've done this, like, a bunch of times. <laughs> oh. I am excited. How many gold pieces do we have right now in there? We have 2,930 gold pieces in the current pot right now. So, there's a chance Mavis could make out like a thief on this one. If I lose just one Pokemon, they are taking it all for themselves. That's the thing too, if you're the only person to bet, and you, like, on the answer, and you get the right outcome... You get it all, and I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's doubled. I'm pretty sure I set it up to double whatever your winnings are. I might be wrong, don't hold me to that, but like either way, right now, we have almost 3,000 gold pieces on the line, which I don't think we've ever had. I don't think we've ever had 3,000 gold pieces. Oh god. Hold on, my, oh there he is. I was like, my screen's kind of small, I was like, I'm trying to make sure I actually guess the right one. It's that guy. Found him. Winner! <laughs> you did 100 on accident. Oh, no. <laughs> well, hey, that's just, more, that's just more money to potentially win. <laughs> if something is funny, I will do it. It is funny, and like, luckily it's all fake. It's all fake money that you could easily win back. That's the thing, if other people get confident later, you could easily win it all back. All right, time to see what Kill Watchful can do. Pluck is not very effective. None of this stuff is very effective. But like, what's Electro Ball gonna do? I'm faster, so that's good. That's not effective, but it's like half damage. And I have Volt Absorb. <laughs> Pluck? All right, what's that gonna do? That's also not bad. <laughs> and Jamer's out here like, isn't it funny how like, I donated like a grand? Everyone else should donate a grand too. Okay, kill a walk troll might actually be an absolute menace during this <laughs> during this gym challenge. What Pokemon is she gonna have that would even be able to do damage to me then? I know she'll have well, I know she'll have a Luxio, which will have Bite. But again, I won't have any electric. I don't have to worry about electric type moves. But should I save? Eh, no, because I might as well use. Yeah, I don't even know. 
I was like, I'm not even sure what the best... I feel like the strategy is just to go in. I... Oh, I'm already anticipating that this is incre incredibly, incredibly busted. Like, I do not have very low hopes that this is gonna turn out, like, bad. I have a... I, I think this is gonna be a very definitive battle to say the least but it might this might just go long because of how like I, like the moves are not very effective like i'm doing half damage for not being very effective like that's not bad but at the same time like i could probably be doing more with other pokemon and i feel like that's the like tricky aspect of it and also, her Pokemon will have other moves. She's not going to just exclusively have electric moves. She has other options. Like, yeah, her Pokemon will have Bite. Her Pokemon will have other things. A Flaffy. Will I switch my Pokemon? I'm going to keep battling. I'm going to double it and give it to the next guy. Come on, Lemon! How much damage does Quick Attack do? I'm curious. That's kind of a, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> shiny Starly, I guess. What is that? You found a shiny Starly? That's dope. I like how casual you are about that. Oh yeah, I found another shiny. Just another day. Just another day for you. And then two Electro Ball is nice because I'm really fast. This is just a big freaking bird too. This is just a really this is a really big Pokemon. Ooh, okay, that wasn't a lot. Ooh, my speed fell. Harshly fell. Yikes, Spark. I'm st still faster. <laughs> still faster than Flaffy. Still faster. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Oh my god. Oh, you already have. Okay, you already have. I, I, I get you now. Yeah, if you already have the shiny Pokemon, it kind of just makes it, like, it's fun to have duplicate shinies, but at the same time, you're obviously looking for something that's not what you already have. So I get it. <laughs> I guess I'll put a bit on the line. <laughs> might as well, might as well. He's on the boat, which is hard to see. Yeah, worst case, I mean, every, like... If you're chatting, I think it's like every 10 minutes you get 20 gold pieces. So even if you bet 10, you're gonna like you're gonna make that up before the betting's even done, probably. You just run around the shiny charm, I love it. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, it's really it's actually like fairly easy to get gold pieces. No, not each message. Like, so, it's a thing of, like, there's a limit to it, I think. So, like, if you send one chat every five minutes, it might not count it. But if you do, like, maybe, like, four, like, if you're actively talking and actively chatting, then about in those five or ten minute marks, you'll earn about, like, I think it's, like, ten to twenty gold pieces or something like that. And, like, just watching the stream, you will also earn, like, you'll earn, like, uh, I think it's 10. It might be 5. It's, like, 5 or 10. Also, get your bets in, y'all. We are about to begin. We have a full team of Pokemon. I'm going to actually switch an item around because I... Can I just... Not oh, stupid. I just want this put away then. Put away held item. Because I want to give you the amulet. Because I think this is going to help a lot. Thank you. I appreciate the good lucks. We can do this, questers. We can do this. Clear amulet. Give. Yes. What do you have? I'm not going to worry about that stuff. Thank you all, thank you. Can you change your... No, unfortunately, all the bets are, like... 
all the bets are final. So that's the that is the one downside of the betting system is you can't change them. You can't do multiple bets, I don't think. Like, it just kind of is what it is. We got this in the bag. Don't use lemon. We gotta use lemon. This is how we're gonna get it. This is how we're gonna win. Sacrifice buoy. <laughs> no. This is how we're gonna do it. All right. Here goes a battle. We have 2,940 gold pieces on the line. And while that's loading, we have two bets for none, three bets for one, five bets in total. Who will come out on top? You need money? Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll do our best. We'll do our best. Maybe you'll win it. Maybe you won't. Who knows? In the last 19 minutes of stream, this is what we're doing. Because I was so paranoid of... Well, I had to catch new Pokemon, and it was a whole thing. Here we go! Get your bets in. The battle begins. Betting has been closed. We're being introduced. I look weird without glasses in this game. Can I get glasses in this game? Straight to it, Iono. Let's do it. I am going to kick your butt. Let's go, Questers. Get those emotes rolling, y'all. If you don't have the emotes for 99 cents, they can be all yours. So get those emotes rolling. Get the hype rolling. This is our equivalent of a hype train. Drop the super chats. Drop the super likes. Drop a dollar for the donation. Let's go, Questers. <laughs> all right. First Pokemon up is a little friend we're all very familiar with. There's Timbo's emotes. Let's do this. I'm curious what's gonna happen. Ha ha! So I shouldn't hit this thing with the flying type move. That because it'll raise its attack. Nice. There we go. Thank you, Aster. Let's go, Questers. Let's go, Electro Ball. Boom! KO! One Pokemon down. Let's do this. A belly bolt? Keep the current Pokemon. Okay, okay, okay. It has Electromorphosis, so like, it will... I think I'm like, much faster than it. Let's see what happens here. Okay, not very effective. Yep, it has Electromorphosis, so it raises its attack, it raises its power. But that's fine, because it's not going to do that much. So Spark. Not very effective. I think I need to change it up. I think I need to change it up. I need to not use those moves. What if I what if I go for it, go hard right away? Because I won't be, I won't take, because still, this is still my ability. But now all my stats will be raised. This flying kilowattle. Let's go. Let's go, Lemon! It's not very effective, and that's okay. <laughs> She's desperately trying to only use not electric moves. I like that the game kind of knows what not to use, but I'm. I was like, I'm kind of hoping she messes up, but at the same time, it's like, I'm not going to risk it. But she seems to be consistent. She seems to be very consistent. Which we can just use Pluck all day long. Oh, wait. I wonder if I have an X attack. Oh, do I have any items? Wait. Do I have items? Because this, be, this might be fun. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I do. Plus a direct hit. Oh, heck yeah. Yup. Yup. Let's go. We're going to raise our attack stat. And then we're going to raise our critical hit stats. 
And these stats can't be lowered because I have the amulet on. So I'm I'm safe. I'm literally safe no matter what she does. And hopefully now I'll just do more damage. <laughs> And let's go direct hit, right? Sharply boost the critical hit ratio of a Pokemon, yes. <laughs> Lemon got pumped. Lemon is pumped up right now. Let's see what quick attack does. I feel like this actually might. Oh, crit hit. <laughs> There we go. I'm gonna have to start using the quick attacks. That might actually be pretty beneficial. Level 26, oh my god. Keep battling. So this one's gonna be a bite. This one's gonna have bite. So I do need to kinda, I feel. Ooh, yep, that's why I have to clear your amulet on. Quick attack. That's nice, that's nice. Oh, and bite wasn't even that bad, but it. Still makes me nervous. It's still, she still makes me nervous a little bit. I just want to make, I mainly want to make sure that I don't get crit on. Like lemon is doing good. Lemon's doing good. I just want to make sure that I'm not gonna get wrecked. Quick attack. <laughs> Let's go, questers. Let's do this. Oh, Miss Magius. Oh, not Switch. Oh, no! This isn't good, loyal fans! Questers! We're gonna wrap this up. We are gonna wrap this up with this Miss Magius. Let's just do a spark on it. It's gonna be an electric type, but we can still do good damage with it. Little light bulb. This is such a clever Pokemon to use, too, because it has Levitate. Which is like, that is really, really smart on the Pokemon Company's end. It reminds me of the black and white gym leader that was the electric typing that had Emolgas. To where, yeah, you couldn't use ground type moves on them. Which is super clever. Super, super clever. Oh my god. Not very effective. But that crit was nice. Confuse Ray. Okay, okay. Okay, Lemon. Can you power through, homie? I bet you can do it. Come on, Lemon. One more crit. One more crit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's okay, Lemon. It's okay, Lemon. It's okay, Lemon. Yes! Coming in with the spark. Yes! Not very effective. Critical hit win! We only used one Pokemon for this entire battle. We did it, Questers! We did it! We got our Pokemon powered up. And the people who bet, only two people bet none. And you, you two are the winners. Congrats, Jamer. Your bet was not in vain. So it'll be split between the two of you. And honestly, Jamer, yeah, so you just mainly get your money back. The people who bet on it don't make as much as if I had lost. If I lost one Pokemon, then the 2,000 gets divided up among everyone that bet that chose one. But because Jamer, Jamer just kind of broke even. <laughs> because then it had to be divided... I about to say, yeah, it unfortunately wasn't, you, ha you have to have, if you're going to make big bets, then it's like incentive for other people to bet against you um, in the hopes that they win. And so the idea is that other people will make big bets <laughs> so that you can get some money back if your option wins. But unfortunately, it didn't really happen, but it was hype nonetheless. That's all that matters is this insane hype. Oh my god, which means tomorrow night 
we are going to go really, really strong right off the bat with the Team Star battle. Because it's 9.50 in my time. We have 10 minutes left. There's no way... There's no way we can, unfortunately, go through the entire Team Star thing right now. Um, so that'll be a tomorrow night right away. We're going to go right in Team Star tomorrow. Aster has 5,000. Aster. Moment of truth. Do you have a Pokemon to send us in the last nine minutes of stream? Do you have the ability to be the first person to redeem it and send us any Pokemon you want? That's obviously within a reasonable level. Like, don't send me something that's level 50. That's just not going to go well. Sounds good. Sounds good. Trim your Maridon. Yikes. Like, I mean, keep it with... Keep it reasonable. Like, it's not going to listen to me if it's too powerful. We have... What am I at right now? Uh, that was my... Can I see... How do I see, like... I'm gonna ride on these nuts respectfully. <laughs> okay, so Maridon, it does, its silhouette does look like a big phallic symbol. So, like, that's hilarious that that joke actually works. Ooh, a, zo oh, a zombie dog. That could be a good one. That could be a good one. A little. Oh, struggle bug. It's actually, I think, a pretty good move. Let's talk about it. Do you want to talk about it? Because I nicknamed my Maridon Richard. Um, after the once the first trailer dropped, I knew my Maridon was gonna be named nicknamed Richard. And I really hope everyone understands the reasoning for that name. I really, it's it's pretty obvious, but at the same time, it is a kind of it's more of a classic. It is more of a classic. <laughs> it is more of a classic. Um, so while I get my team figured out of where, who I want where, I, I really do want to thank everyone for joining me tonight. This was such a blast. This was such a fun stream, y'all. And I literally could not have had this much fun without literally everyone in chat. Like, I want to thank you all for making this, like, uh, charity stream such a huge success. I want to thank you all for donating your time to just hang out with me and make this channel a success. We have, like, we are, fun fact, we are one member away from being able to unlock more emote slots. So if you guys want more emotes, for 99 cents, you can join the channel on the monthly subscription, and then we get an extra emote slot unlocked, which, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We could do more emotes and stuff like that. Um, and as well as, if you purchase... If you purchase this really cool shirt, uh, I have shirts and crewnecks. I mean, they work really, really good if you want to have, like, an undershirt, if you want to have... If you're really, really messy while you eat, like, I usually spill on myself. So I'll wear my hoodie or, like, my sweatshirt, my Corn's Quest sweatshirt to, like, uh, catch anything that I might drop on myself. So if you want to do that, I mean, feel free. The merch is also in the description. And from now until Earth Day... All pro like all profit I receive from my merch will go directly towards the campaign. So it's a fun way to donate and you get something tangible in return. Would it be funny if I became a member? I think it would be, but that's up to you. That's up to you. You don't have to be. Oop, I would like to save my adventure. That is a good one. <laughs> exactly. It would be funny. <laughs> Jamer, that would be really, really funny. You acknowledge that you acknowledge that becoming a member that you were in no way, shape, or form forced to do this by the Corn's Quest community. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions of becoming a member and entitled to their own money value. So please, only become a member, be a member responsibly. I think it'd be hilarious. It's like that. Like I need to have every time I like I plug that stuff. I need to have like a thing down at the bottom of like. While I appreciate your support, it is not in everyone's financial benefit to be to give money to streamers. If this is you, please consider your. A monthly donation of being a member and consider other things. Make sure you take care of yourself first before you start taking care of others. 
If you do not fall into this category, give me your money, give me your money, give me your money, give me your money. <laughs> oh my god. No, I, I think the membership stuff is pretty cool. Like, we got lots of cool perks. Um, one amount of time it takes to type out my billing info. <laughs> um, will do. But it's cool, like... It's cool stuff, like, if you're... So, Timbo is a full Cobb quester, which means Timbo gets unlimited access, and there's even a members-only Discord that people can join if they're at the Baby Corn... Baby Cobb quester level. Yay! Welcome, Jamer, as a Colonel quester member! Shout out, Jamer, which is also a good time, because I'm getting, uh... Like, because as a Colonel quester... You get emotes and you get behind the scenes updates in the community tab. You get behind the scenes updates. If you become a baby cop quester, that was super funny. That was super, super funny. But if you become a baby cop quester, you get access to a member Discord channel and you get all the other benefits. And if you are a full cop quester, you get early access to videos and you get a member a full cob quester only uh uh membership channel where you can ask questions and i will make videos based around your questions that are member only videos as well as i'm trying to think of ideas for other member only videos i am i'm really really bad about that because i'm just trying to think of like how to grow the channel and like i don't like it's like what's a good balance so if any of you members have ideas for what you want to see for content let me know in the discord and stuff like that and i will gladly make some exclusive member only content for y'all <laughs> so the hop up emotes hop up emotes might come then hop up emotes might come i gotta i gotta go make them or i gotta go find someone to make them i did i really really did like that emote that uh was it mavis that made the who made the... Was it Mavis that made the... Um, it was, right? Mavis, you made the... The um, cauliflower hop-up? Because that was really, really good. I liked that a lot. That was a really solid design. And really, really cute. I just liked it. <laughs> but yes, so now something that I'll do is... I, gotta, I guess I gotta figure out emotes. I gotta figure out more emotes now. And yeah, we got a little zombie dog down there. <laughs> yes, I knew you did. I was like, I knew that was you. Oh my goodness. Well, this has been a very eventful stream. I want to thank all the new people that joined. I want to thank all the questers that joined. Um, this was a blast to be here hanging out. Cauliflower hop it for life. I know, I might have to think of like a rendition of that. <laughs> um, I want to thank you all for watching. And again, I want to thank you all for making these uh, charity streams so much fun. And making these streams just amazing. What up the plushy man? You caught us. A kind of an okay time we are ending stream unfortunately so if you want to see the full stream we are going live again tomorrow night 8 p.m central to 10 p.m central subscribe and turn on those notifications so that you know when the stream is live as soon as it goes live uh, that way you can come hang out enjoy all the fun and uh, if you want more corn's quest and if you want updates on the channel and when i do go live Join the Discord, which you can find in the description, as well as you can find other social media handles that I have within the um, uh, the YouTube channel settings and stuff like that. So I hope everyone has a fantastic night. I hope to see everyone back here tomorrow for the continuation of our Stream 60 for Earth, hosted by the World Wildlife Fund, where we are doing this Nuzlocke of Pokemon Scarlet to raise money and raise awareness for climate change. And hope everyone has a great night. Hope to see everyone tomorrow. But until next time, happy questing, y'all.